some odd reason I am just pooped today. It took everything in my being to get out of bed. I've just been going hard. Been going hard. Uh, yesterday did a field hunt and there was three of us and it was a no-go. It was a big goose egg. A big goose egg. But today we're going to be doing a solo duck hunt. Got to get out of bed to do that. I mean, come on. We're going to head to the lease pond, the little, the, the small water pond. And we're just going to throw out probably two dozen uh, floaters and a mojo. And we got a north, northeast wind today. So, it should be decent. I'm hoping that yesterday, we had about 50, 52 degree weather. I'm hoping that everything thawed out nicely yesterday. And there might be a uh, thin sheet of ice on it today, but hopefully it's not too thick. But I want to tell you guys, we are doing the 10 days of Christmas over at DucksWaterfowl.com. And today, the camo hat is on sale for 25% off. If you've wanted the camo hat and you've never got it, well, it's discounted now. You ought to go down in the description below, click the camo ducks link, and pick you one up and save you some jack. But we are going to get on the road here. Uh, we have about a 25-minute drive. Uh, gotta stop by the quick shop, get some munchies, and yeah, let's roll. Oh man, so I'm out here by myself, got the quad, I gotta use the quad to get in. It's about a half mile ride in, and uh, we had snow as you guys had seen, and it all has melted, and uh, the ground is a little softer in these fields. But I am loaded up to the brim. I got like a dozen and a half uh, springback decoys there. Another dozen floaters. I'm going to take my little cooler, my little creek cooler, so I can uh, put my shells and my camera and everything because I'll be sitting in the water. It'll, it'll keep it dry. And I got my bucket. A lot of you guys have been wondering what I use for duck hunting. Well, that's a, that's a pretty solid rundown real quick. Uh, I'm going to have to make two trips to get all this gear in. So I'm going to put down the camera. we got about 25 minutes till shooting light. Let's roll. Oh, look at this. we got a group of five. I'm just letting them work, not even calling. He's dead. First bird down, that's a big old green head, boys. Yeah! Didn't even get to open the video once we sat down here. Didn't even get to uh, talk yet, but I'm about 12, 15 minutes late getting set down for shooting light, but uh, it's about 15 minutes after shooting light, down to my first green head of the day, and they worked awesome. He's trying to get away here. Come here, buddy. Don't run in there. A lot of ice going on here. Man, no calling at all. Those birds did it. They were so, he was so close. I'm running my full choke today and uh, running number four shot and number three shot. It's been working really well in this full choke. I know this GoPro is probably pretty dark, but there's no way sitting in water that I can run the big camera and shoot at the same time. Oh, my glasses are fogging up something fierce. Like I said, I was a little late getting sat down. So I had to go park the, uh, I had to make two trips to get all my stuff out here. Then I had to go park the four wheeler out back. Whoo, my goodness. Awesome though. What a win already. One greenie down. Look at that bad boy right there. Beautiful. How about that Kansas sunrise too? Look at them curls. Yeah. That's what a stuck hunters love right there. Oh, so the big roost uh, behind me, the marsh, I, I got out of the truck and I just heard wah, 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 wah. There must be a lot of ducks on it. I was unable to scout all this yesterday. Uh, my only intuition was like, okay, today's supposed to have a bunch of clouds for one. Uh, not much wind, so that kind of sucks. But for two, most importantly, yesterday we had a 50, 52 degree day. So I was like, I guarantee you my little puddle is going to be thawed out because everything's been locked up a bunch. So, sure enough, got here. There's ice on uh, the banks, but the body of water is all thawed out. These solo hunts, I'm telling you, if you guys have never done them, you need to get out and do them. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Give your boy a big old thumbs up already. So, that's what we got going on here. As you can see, we have hardly any motion. We actually have no motion at all on the water here. Should have brought the jerk rig today. I have no motion other than the Mojo spinner decoy out there. 
I have no motion in the water whatsoever. That's probably the, the problem here. <laughs> What, how did I miss that bird? Are you serious? I heard him above me. How did I miss that bird? What the heck? Well, that is awful shooting on Bob's part. Wow. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. That just goes to show you. <laughs> uh, I'm human. You know, I don't, I don't hit everything. That was a really easy shot, especially with a four, full choke. Golly, I'm kicking myself in the butt for that one. Look at all these snows coming. Not coming to my decoys, but just flying over. Listen to them a minute. Still can't believe I missed that bird. Uh, been minimal, minimal ducks flying. Um, I don't think they want to get off the marsh today. It's a little chilly. Uh, the, the weatherman was wrong again, though. It was supposed to be cloudy today, mostly cloudy. As you can tell, it is bluebird skies, yet again. So, what do you do? Could have had two birds down for sure, but I don't know how I whiffed that bird. That was, that was ridiculous. Look at this little guy back here that I just pull along. Got all my cameras, all my calls, all my shells. Pretty darn cool little, uh, little uh, they call it a creek cooler. And Creek Cooler actually sent me this. It was like, they were just like, hey man, try this thing. And I'll tell you what, that thing is just neat. Keeps everything dry. I can sit on my bucket or chair in the water. Boom. Top completely seals up. But I want to show you the spread a little more. I just scattered the ducks here on the north side of the water. Put the mojo like it's landing into a north wind. Because that's what we have. It's a north wind today. Always set your mojo into the wind, facing into the wind, so it looks like that mojo is landing into the wind. So, little tip of the day for you. But I told myself today, I was like, you know what, I haven't scouted uh, out at the lease, and uh, if it's slow, if it's just brutally slow and there's not a lot of birds, I'm probably gonna pick up by nine so I can try to get in some scouting before the morning is over. But one bird, at least we didn't get skunked. Can't believe I missed a second one. The only birds I've really seen or just that, those seen two groups of birds, a four pack and a five pack, and then the single that came and did it over my head that I missed like an idiot. But, oh, well, we gotta go get the quad here. Got a lot more water in the old honey hole than last time. We got some snow, and then we got some ice. And as you can see, it's still icy with a bunch of snow up on the north side. Surprised it didn't all melt yesterday. It was like in the 50s. But a lot more water here. A lot of this has melted. It gave me a lot more water to work with. So I need to actually get rid of some more weeds and open it up a lot more. Open up my hole a bunch more. But I had to park the quad probably, what, 100 yards, 200 yards away so them old ducks wouldn't see it. But oh, there she is. There's the old Betsy, my old girl. Tell you what, this old quad never lets me down. It's a 700 Prairie by Kawasaki, and I, I swear I've had this thing for probably every bit 10 years. I mean, I bet you I've had this quad for over 10 years. Just been a champ. Have never had to have it in the shop. Just one heck of a quad, let me tell you. Uh-oh. I'm telling you, she's a good old girl. She is cold too. Oh, we are here. I'll tell you what. The old four-wheel drive quad does good every single time. I love using it. And I'll tell you what, it's so nice, these solo hunts. Uh, it's so nice just being by yourself every now and then. I wanted, to, I wanted to tell you guys this. It's nice being by yourself because 
and, and just every now and then it's not every now and then it's nice doing the solo hunts the reason why I say that is because you know when you have four or five buddies uh, there can be people saying hey let's do this hey let's do that hey no I don't want to do that let's sit the decoys like this and other people are like hey let's leave no I want to stay longer on solo hunts the most rewarding thing is that you don't have to listen to anybody yap you're by yourself and you do what you want and you learn you learn a lot more doing a solo hunt than you ever do with a group you watch more you have to pay attention more there's less eyes on the sky so just all in all the experience of solo hunting I can tell you right now it's rewarding every time if you guys haven't done it you really need to so you guys remember these bad boys here oh yeah the old coot decoys the ones that I painted a while back you guys were subscribed and watching during that video when I went to Walmart, bought these decoys, and then painted the two black to resemble coot decoys. Drop a comment down below. I'd like to know how long some of you guys have been here. Well, didn't get to do any scouting. I'm still here at the field, and it is 10:53. So I guarantee you, all of the uh, birds are back on the water. What I spent my time doing, I actually used the old quad and opened up a ton more water. Uh, I took the hole from the size that it was and really expanded it. I almost doubled it just now. As you can see, the old quad really took a beating on that one. But I wanted to show you guys, check out my rig here. This has been the solo rig lately. This is what I've been, literally have not taken the trailer off my truck forever. Got some dive bombs out back, got the layout blind down there. Got a dozen decoys, another dozen decoys. Got a bunch of crap in here. And then the old topper. I'm telling you what, the old topper, look at all the other decoys I got in here. Just everything. Waders, decoys, mojos, literally everything. This is the rig. This is the freaking rig. But I know this wasn't a very long video, and I hope it was entertaining for you guys. I know that these solo hunts, you guys have been requesting for me to do more solo duck hunts, so that's what I wanted to do today. We almost shot two, but we got one down. <laughs> but, you know, like always, like I always, always say, it's not about how many you kill. It's about what you take home with you, the experience. The experience is what makes us duck hunters. That's what keeps us always coming back and wanting more and wanting more. Whether you're doing a solo hunt and just enjoying nature, enjoying being outdoors by yourself, or if you're with five buddies and you laugh the whole time. It doesn't matter the rhyme or reason, this is why we all come back, is for the experience. Take a buddy duck hunting that's never been, introduce them to what we do, the waterfowl hunting world. Introduce them, I guarantee you a lot of people I've introduced just this year and last year and they love it. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember, the 10 days of Christmas sale is going on and the camo ducks hat is on sale today for 25% off. If you want to pick it up, I'll link it down in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. If you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.